I just don't know like what this guy behind us is doing. I don't know. I mean, I think I'm just gonna move forward. Yeah, I've made that mistake before. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll just move forward. I don't know. I I, I don't want to move back. I'd rather try to get to this person. I think. I'm trying, Adroka. Alright, you're in sight of somebody? Oh, you are. 38%. Not that great. Um, not that great, but I mean, maybe just take the shot. We could run and gun, but then we're really risking seeing another person, so I think I'm just gonna take the shot here. Yeah. Shot failed to connect. Worth a try. Uh, actually, maybe Chris Dash. How is Chris Dash not in sight? Like, ugh. Chris Dash will move out kind of into the open here. And I guess we'll just relo reload this turn. Let's do this. We'll go get and drop a kill. Oh god. The zombies move really slowly. All right, we're gonna move Androka up. Oh, Androka can't move, because uh, Androka healed. We're gonna move Snip. Here. Here. Sixty percent. All right, let's, let's try. Come on, Snip. Aw, oh, damn. I mean, that was good, but it's like, so close. Oh, there's the zombie. Whoa. Okay, miss. Nice, nice. First, I should be able to take uh, one of them out. Are you serious? So is that gonna turn into a zombie? Is anyone who dies a zombie? Like, Jesus. Chris Dash can- 94? Okay, so you're gonna take out this guy. 94%, come on Chris Dash. Nice Chris Dash, nice job, thank god. Thank you Chris Dash. Where's the zombie, back here? We could probably wait another turn for the zombie. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, 42%. We might as well. Uh, all right, let's let's first make sure we take out this guy. That guy can actually shoot us. Snip needs to reload. That sucks. Uh, we'll move Snip to the car and reload. Let's do this. And Droka. We'll move in Droka here. Oh. I don't know. Um This is risky. Fifty-nine percent. Okay. Damn it, Androga! Damn it! Damn it. Yeah, you did miss. It's only 38% to hit him.
Will this improve it? Like moving two spaces? I don't know. Ah, uh, Droka's gonna get hit if I don't kill him. All right, what's up, Geeky Gaming? How's it going? Hey, Lifty Nerd Bro, thank you so much for the host. What's up, guys? Welcome to the stream. I'm sorry, I was super concentrated. Welcome to the stream, guys. We are playing XCOM uh, for the first time ever, and we're in a really tough situation here, so I'm like trying to think of all the possibilities. And I'm killing off my subscribers. Welcome, you guys have come at a good time. Um, welcome to the stream, guys. Use this pistol. Oh, you know what? It actually might be the best the best idea. 62%. I like that. We got to take him out. Let's do it. Ready? I'm scared. Ready? Mouth dog. Don't miss or Androka is going to die. <laughs> if you miss, Androka will probably die. Nice. Woo! Okay. All right. All right. All right. By the way, mods, can we get a link to Liffy Nerd Bro, a fellow member of the We Are Legend team? Are you kidding me? Oh, God. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Why did the zombie just turn into an alien? What? <laughs> what is happening? Oh my god. Lifty Nerd Bro, how's it going? Thank you so much for the host. I really appreciate it. How you doing? Oh god, guys. Jesus, Jesus. Okay, Moth Dog should be able to take him out though. Should be, hopefully. I'm hoping. 100% hit, up to five damage. 30% chance to crit. Why can't we do rapid fire? Not enough ammo, that's really bad luck. Cause that would be perfect. Damn it, rapid fire would be so perfect here. I mean, somebody else is going to kill him, but... He could crit though, one and three. Come on, Moth Dog. No, oh my god, Moth Dog with the crit! Let's go, guys! Moth Dog, nice! Woo, all right. All right, Snip almost got wrecked there. So do I have to kill him again? Like how many times did I have to kill the same alien? All right. Oh my goodness. All right, Chris Dash actually could probably just take one out right here. 74%, 94%. All right, let's do it guys. Come on, Chris Dash, do your thing. Chris Dash, nice Chris Dash. We are doing knock on wood. We're doing we're doing alright. We're doing alright. What's up, General in? Oh my god, Jack Carl, really? Jabber, please. All right, who's next to take a shot? Snip? Snip's got a, a good line of fire here. 60% chance. Um, it's like, I don't know if I want to move up though. Like, <laughs> I could get to this car. I don't know if that would be any better. It's kind of hard to tell like if this would actually, I don't think this would be a better angle. Uh, so we'll, we'll go for the shot here. Come on, Snip. Oh my god, Snip Potato, you potato. Enemy is still alive. Androka. 
59%. Let's move Androka up to the car so you have fi uh, some, some uh, cover. Seventy-nine percent. Let's do it. Let's do it, Androka. You got this. Hey, what's up, Gregel? How's it going? Hey, Zikinarel. How are you? Seventy-nine percent. Yes! Oh my God! We did it! Oh my God! We did it with only one loss, guys. We did it, guys. We did it. Only one loss. Rip Cicero. But guys, we survived. We we saved 11 out of 18. Okay. We got a good rating. We killed nine aliens. One death. I'll take it, guys. I'll take it all day. Oh, oh yeah, Cicero. Um, but hey, one death, man. That could have been so much worse. I'm sorry, Cicero. Thanks, some guy. I love the screams in the background as she celebrates. Oh man. Oh, I saw Cilio come in. What's up, Cilio? Oh my god, Palisias. I thought it was gonna rage quit. Okay, Shifty, th this is my first time playing this game. Come on, cut me some slack. Yeah, Tynes, I'm a pro. I have to pay respects for Sensor Room. Rip in pieces. Uh, Androka's been gravely wounded, so Androka's out for a week. But you did get promoted, Androka. Dense smoke? No. Combat drugs? Oh. Interesting. I don't really use smoke grenades that much, uh, but I guess if I did... I'll go with that. Frogs! Oh, okay, Celia. Well, I hope you're doing well anyways. Uh, thank you guys very much for joining me. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. If you are new here, my name is Loco. I'm a full-time streamer, a uh, variety streamer. We're playing XCOM right now. Um, some games in the future. We've got, uh, we've got Darkest Dungeon coming up. We've got the new XCOM. We've got some Far Cry kind of coming up very soon. Um, down the road, we've got Uncharted. We got a full Uncharted playthrough in the works, uh, and then we got Hitman. We just did a Hitman playthrough of the original games. Uh, so we are variety. And uh, definitely check out my social media links if you want more from the stream. We are 20 followers away on Twitter from 6K, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so definitely follow my Twitter. It's the best way to know when the stream's going live. Um, and thank you guys so much for being here. Oh, and we have a calendar. Pajama Sam. All right, who else got a promotion? Chris Dash. Chris Dash is an awesome sniper. Uh, confers plus 10 aim against targets with less than 50% health. Interesting. Eliminates the aim penalty on reaction shots and allows reaction shots to cause critical hits. Um, that's pretty cool, but I, I just think for the sniper, I don't know, cause like, uh, we don't really overwatch that often. We're 18 followers away? Hell yeah. Oh yeah, Celia, so Twitch is having some issues. <laughs> Simon X, please. Oh yeah, well, Bordner, I don't have a Wii right now. Uh, it is on my wish list, but I just, I do not have one right now. Um, so maybe, hopefully, <laughs> sometime this year? Maybe. You should overwatch snipers a lot. Okay. Do. Yeah, I mean, if we are taking shots, we're not really going for people with less than 50% health. If we have a choice between someone that has 50% health and a guy that has 100% health, we're gonna go for the guy with more health just because Chris Dash um, uh, can do a lot of damage. Um, okay, so Opportunist. Okay, I'll try out Opportunist then. 
Maybe I should be overwatching more then. Okay. Moth Dog got promoted. Training extra conditioning. Confers bonus health based on which type of armor is equipped. Have your armor increases the bonus. Wow. Moth Dog. Moth Dog's OP. Snip got promoted. Sprinter um, and covering fire. Um, I guess we have to decide what kind of support Snip can be. Well... No, because, I mean, even with Sprinter, I just, like, I don't know, three additional tiles, I just... It's like, I don't know, I think this is cooler. I'm gonna go with Covering Fire. Rip, Cicero. Panic in Australia has decreased by three, and panic has decreased across Asia. That is really good to hear. Remember... We will be watching. That is really good I'm sure to hear. The troops will be eager to get out there and even up the body count. Uh. Yo, that's United Kingdom. I was, I was like, what is that? Sprinter's medic. Yeah, but it's like three extra tiles. I mean, it's just like, uh. Oh my god, really, Palisades? Okay, let's see. I gotcha. True, Chris, that's, that's true. You gotta do something about Germany. Germany is gonna read him. I need money, Why Why can't I get some money for me, like, beating these missions? Um, okay, so we, we have to just fast forward some time here. Loader autopsy research completes. As frightening and vicious as the species is on the battlefield, it is hard not to feel some sympathy for them on the dissection table. The specimen has been subjected to extensive biomedical modifications, some of which were undoubtedly quite painful and intrusive. The combination of living tissue and mechanical components gives the creature the look of a cruel, half-finished experiment. Most of the subject's internal organs have been replaced with a mechanical life support system that mimics their original functionality. A rather conventional propulsion system has been grafted onto the subject's torso, although the power cells supplying the necessary thrusts are extremely advanced by their own standards. By our own standards, I have removed a number of neural implants from the subject that appear to aid in the ev evasion of incoming projectile fire. The engineering team has already suggested several ways in which this technology might benefit our soldiers. You may find additional information about the combat capabilities of the species by targeting one of the field, one of the field using the unit analysis view. All right. New item, Defense Matrix. Uh, activate this module during interception to provide an immediate temporary boost to our unit's evasive ability. Fortunately, I don't have any money. <laughs> What's up, Snip? How's it going? I know, Jabber. I know. I'm trying to save Andre. I know, I know. Yeah, Merminox. I mean, we've captured a lot of them. I mean, that mission was just uh, pretty bad because we didn't. We only had five. We didn't have a full crew, and we had like some newer play, like newer uh, teammates. So we kind of just did there what we needed to to survive. <laughs> Am I still engineering things? Yes, Gregor, you're engineering away. Autopsy will take two days, uh, so we'll do that. Based on what we've seen in the field so far, including several grotesque examples of trauma resulting from the emergence of its young, we've taken to calling this specimen a chrysalid. Left. Who drank my coffee? That's sad, Silio. Hey, Beardmeister. Our worst suspicions may have been true after all. They're not just here for abductions. They have something else in mind. All 
All right, we get Alda back in a day and some guy in three days. That's really good. Um, and in, in, I think two days we get new soldiers. Really, Jack Earl? Because it looks like Chad is blaming you, Jack Earl, for drinking my coffee. I mean, I don't know. Who do we, who do we, uh, listen to? Isn't chat always right? We still haven't done this yet. Let me save. I guess we can start overwriting some of these. We just, we might as well just keep adding new slots, whatever. <laughs> Oh my god, Jack Earl. We do, Simon X. We need money. We do. Two more days. I need two days to pass. Even after years of research and study, until now I never encountered something that is quite as beautiful, yet equally as deadly as this species. Unlike the other aliens we've encountered thus far, it is uh, arthropo arthropodal in nature, plated in a sleek black exoskeleton. The chrysalids, as we're calling them, based on their reproductive habits, measure over three meters long from nose to tail and stand almost two meters high when perched on their hind legs. Their attack is not only extremely deadly, but also necessary for the reproduction, as the intended, intended victim is not immediately killed, but instead turned into what can be only described as a mindless shell akin to a zombie. Ugh! My voice. Ugh! Um, which serves as a host to its offspring. When a human is bitten, an embryo is injected into the host and immediately begins to gestate. Once, just, once, gestation, just, <laughs> once gestation is complete, which remarkably lasts only minutes, a newborn chrysalid will emerge, destroying its host in the process. One can only wonder why the aliens would utilize what appears to be a savage, unpredictable creature. In any case, that is certainly not a creature to be trifled with. Um, and our troops would do well to exercise extreme caution with, when engaging the species. Targeting another example in the field through unit analysis view may provide additional information. Chitin plating, nice. What's up, Bruno? Guys, my voice, my voice is cracking because of the sub train, okay? Blame, blame you guys for subbing and resubbing because my voice is really broken now. <laughs> Lay plating made from crystal exoskeleton. This material provides additional protection. Um. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, this is room. Five out of seven. That's not bad. Hashtag blame supporters 2016. Need some chapstick. It's better than yesterday. I think it's worse than yesterday. My reading or my voice? So Alda should be back, I think. Wait, do we have a satellite? So we got two days on the uplink, so I guess we can't even launch it yet. Soldiers arrive in how many days? Okay, so we got our soldiers. Right, I'm gonna just pass some time. Complete. Okay, perfect. All right, Germany. Uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Wait, no satellites Additional available. Required. Oh crap! We still have five more days till the satellite itself. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Damn it! Oh my god, really, Gregel? We are getting close. We are getting close. Rap oh, the, the problem is, is that like not many new games, so we're not getting like many new people. It's kind of slowed down a bit, but we'll get there soon. Soon. This <laughs> is Um. Okay, I, I think I don't know, guys. Maybe we should do the next mission, like the main mission. Because we are, we, so we have new soldiers. We got two new soldiers. Uh, and we have six people. Six of our people ready. Maggie's back, Aldad's back, some guy's back. Um. Hmm. I feel like we should do this. It'll reduce panic. I don't want to risk another, like, situation popping up that we have to choose and then we screw over, like, Germany or something. Like, no, I, I think that doing the alien-based assault might be your best plan at this point. I'm kind of nervous. I think we should change game. Oh my god, Bruno. Yeah, Odyssey, you've been out for a while. You've been out for a while. You got really injured. You almost died. I remember. I remember what happened, man. You got messed up. You should wait until the council. Yeah, I, I don't, don't assault the base yet. Why? No, not yet. I, will people get mad if I keep waiting? That's what I'm nervous about. I need money. Really, Jack Earl? Oh my god, nice. Alright. I get- Booker, what is- what are these farts that are going on, man? What's going on with these farts, man? Research completes. We've had the opportunity to study these devices in a limited fashion. As we discovered, they do uh, uh, contain some form of encrypted alien data. However, they're also completely reliant on an internal power supply, which when depleted renders the device inaccessible. The only means we've found to gather information from this equipment is by routing its internal power system through a crudely assembled interface that bypasses any built-in shutdown sequences. However, the alien data itself presented an even greater obstacle, as we're dealing with a programmed language that is unlike anything found in our own systems. Fortunately, the research team is quite capable, and we quickly assembled a small group of our best analysts for the task. We've already begun to establish patterns in the alien encryption algorithm, revealing small bits of information that can be integrated into our research. How was that? That was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, some guy, that's what I'm worried about. Assaulting the base reduces panic globally, but it reduces- it increases the game's difficulty. Oh. With the signal monitored by a team of engineers, each satellite nex nexus is capable of receiving transmissions from four XCOM satellites. What? Wait, so this is better than the satellite rooms that I built? We gotta go. Two satellites. Oh. Yeah, that's better. Not that we can afford it. <laughs> okay, lucky. <laughs> not not Jack, oh my god. Really rare prestige, really? Four days until the satellite. Oh, we need to do a new research project. UFO power source. Um...
We could do the skeleton suit. 